So welcome everybody back to Forza Horizon 4. So we're going to be doing the final few uh, vlog uh, story mode things, and then we're going to be doing the uh, final uh, lot on the. Uh, thanks a lot there for ruining my intro. Uh, we're going to be uh, then doing the bit final business mission. So uh, yeah, let's get seeing what she's got for us. I think there's only a few more of these left. Most of them have been decent, but a few of them have been a bit wet, to be honest. It's the racer here, back at Horizon. Back counting down my top ten favorite experiences in cars. And it's time for Ridge Racer! We've got a Honda NSX and a Custo race route just for us, courtesy of Horizon. I love these guys. Well, certainly a heavily modified this NSX. Three, two, one, go! Morty gone. A V8. Oh, uh, NSX purists are gonna hate that. <laughs> wow! What a start! This is just what I wanted to see. In 400 yards, turn left. Turn left. In 200 yards, turn right. Well, it certainly handles really rather well. Fairly quick as well. In 400 yards, turn right. Next corner's tough. Watch yourself. Turn right. Good job they have done the handling to be honest because there's some complicated corners on this route. Oh dear. Lost it. Oh dear. Ow. It's fine, got less than a mile to go and we've got plenty of time. Well, I doubt we're going to get three stars on that. No. I imagine you have to be under two minutes to get a uh, three stars there. But yeah, the, uh, it's a nice car to drive that, even though I'm not a fan of how it looks. Gold wheels have never been something I've been a massive fan of. But did the job, which is all that really matters. Let's do the next one. Gonna be in next. Hopefully, something else I like. Welcome back. It's me, the racer at Horizon, and we're counting down the best cars in the best games. And we've made it to the top of the list. This is going to be controversial, and it was hard to pick until I realize there is only one car that deserves to be in this spot. The car. Not the fastest or the most expensive, but it's hard to point to something more iconic than this. I am talking about the 911 Turbo. Well, it's pretty iconic. A car that's been in more games than anything else with a turbocharged flat six and what I think is the most beautiful chassis of any car. But what game am I talking about? What game do I hear you ask? All of them. Yeah, I was going to ask what game you referencing this from, but then again, like she said, uh, there's very few uh, racing games out there that have production cars in them that 
don't future a uh, Porsche 911. So uh, I guess there is logic behind her her choice. Cartoon games, sci-fi post-apocalyptic games, racing games, they all had one thing in common. You'd find a 911. Or, you know, something that looked a lot like one. I fell in love, and judging by the comments, most of you did too. It's really, really oversteering. I have no idea if you've changed it or not, because this is how it is, but whoa. In 400 yards, turn right. Doing 120 past that speed trap. In 400 yards, I know that doesn't sound a lot, but it all depends on uh, the run up to the actual speed trap. If there's a corner just before it, or there's a series of corners before it, then I might struggle. Nope, Open easy enough. Up. Let's see what that beautiful thing can do. So, that's it. My top ten cars and games. I hope you've enjoyed this and enjoyed watching this awesome driving. Remember to subscribe for more LaRacer content and be sure to come back soon. I won't be. Well, at least we uh, ended it on a uh, three stars. Though I will be uh, getting the uh, rest of the uh, chapters up to three stars on my own time. Obviously, I didn't always do that, but I wasn't knowledgeable of the, uh, you know, the objectives and, uh, you know, what I had to do to get a certain amount of stars. But yeah, I'll do that in my own time, like I have done with other ones, like drifting and uh, whatever the other one was before that. Right, so we're gonna go now Please drive video. up to Edinburgh. So. Yeah, I'll uh, see you when we get there, because it is quite a journey. Right, so what are we in? This next the Zenvo ST1. Danish. Apparently they heard about our adventure with the Swedish Koenigsegg, and the Danes don't like to be out down on the road any more than they do on the football pitch. So, here's your next ride. You know how it works. Take the keys and go and have some fun. I doubt that's true about the Danish. Not exactly Alvin renowned for their uh, program just sat there. car industry after all. This is a pretty savage car though. It's only a rear wheel drive with the amount of power that they've put in it is uh, pretty insane. And combine that with the fact that there's very little in the way of electronics. Or, you know, bang up to their engineering, you are uh, gonna be quite awake. 100 mile an hour target speed is pretty pathetic considering what we've got coming up. I say that as I crash into a tree. But yeah, we've got pretty a long straight here and this car can get up to 100 mile an hour extremely quickly, so... It's a pretty uh, small target there. Come on, we're doing twice that now already. or Koenigsegg? Denmark or Sweden? <laughs> Don't tell me. And 
Don't tell the client, whatever you do. Call me soon for the next one, yeah? Calling Zeg, to be honest. Especially the Agera RS that we've uh, reviewed before. Because that car's more powerful and way quicker and uh, insane, to be honest. <laughs> But get plenty of influence and money out of it, so I'm not going to complain. I'm even get a wheel spin, which obviously isn't always guaranteed it can give us something, but it is at least an attempt to get something. And a super wheel spin as well. I think we got this from doing one of the uh, vlog races. Oh well, we've got two cars: Ford Transit, which I actually already have, and a McLaren 570S, which I don't have. So. Uh, yeah, at least we get a uh, pretty expensive car out of that spin there. Right, let's see what this next one's gonna be. Have you seen a DB11 petrol into film a documentary? Gorgeous, right? It's the Vulcan. Well, I didn't want to steal all her thunder, so I got the God of Fire instead. Aston Martin Vulcan. 820 brake horsepower, track and street legal. And I've got some rose clothes for you. Thank you very much. I want you to scream past this speed trap. You hear me? Let's go. Yeah, I hear. Right, it's after 145 this time. I love the sound of this car. No, Anna, no roundabouts. Oh, well, maybe I should if I'm going to hit a tree. Slightly to the left. Shortcut. Oh dear, that was not a shortcut. I do apologise for that. No, do not want to ruin the Vulcan. Yeah, maybe I uh, should slow down. Yeah, this car's, oh dear, uh, very, very wild. Again, like the Zenvo, or rear wheel drive only. I know obviously this does have a much bigger spoiler at the back. But that does not mean it's controllable when uh, you're at the lower end of uh, the speed range that it can do. It's obviously, the faster you go in, the more downforce you have, so the better handling you have. But the opposite is true when you go in a lot slower. I didn't have to do about 190 plus to get three stars there. Fortunately, I hit that wall not long before the uh, speed trap, so I uh, couldn't manage it. But oh well. Not the end of the world. I always get the extra star in my own time. And that extra 2,500 influence I missed out on. Get another wheel spin. Will I be as lucky this time around? Probably not. <laughs> I never have been with wheel spins to be honest. It's very rarely that I get a lot of money out of something. Obviously it's easier on the uh, super wheel spins to get something good because you've got three chances instead of one. But even then I do have some bad luck. As evidenced by the other one where we got a four transit which I already had and some emotion move or whatever. But when it's Pagana's under. A nice drive in the Pagani's country, you know, on the reason. but in something elegant, something exclusive, 
something Italian. So I've got Paganis on the Cinque, one of only five in existence. Hey, we've got our reputation to consider. Yeah, extremely rare, Carlos. Don't show them how we roll at world's fastest. And again, another powerful rear wheel drive car. Time to cover all this ground, even to be honest. So the less mistakes, the better. At the roundabout, no one at no time for roundabouts. We've got a very limited amount of time. At least that time that worked out. Not really. Chose to go left at the wrong time there. Eh? Oh dear. Need to keep an eye on the map because I am not familiar with this road. The last thing I want to do is barrel into my house at 200 mile an hour. pretty quick but I don't know wanna know how fast you have to actually go to get three stars there. I imagine one minute twenty maybe even less. Cause we were well under one minute fifty five. But it's all about getting them completed more than getting every star possible. And at least we've got fifty grand there and another wheel spin again. Seems to be uh, getting plenty of them today. Will I be lucky though? No. Either way though, if I had that Jaguar, I would already have it anyway, so it wouldn't have been a uh, massive extra, but I still would have preferred it over a hat, that's for sure. I have no use for clothing whatsoever in this game. Right, next one. Another fast car, no doubt. You all right? Yeah, Hennessy Good Venom. Now this next one would have been the fastest production car in the world if they'd made enough of them to qualify as a production car. The 2012 Hennessy Venom GT, hand built for speed and performance, handed over to you for the same reason. And it's another powerful rear-wheel drive car. So what is There's the obsession with that? I don't know. Motorway. Let's see you put up some numbers. After 215 mile an hour this time. Which is quite a lot. Obviously this car can achieve that and more, but again, it's about to run up to that actual speed trap that matters. It's a tricky run up. It's a straight run to the track. Go, go, go. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, damn. If I hadn't lost it there, I would have been able to uh, keep a hell of a rate of speed, to be honest. That's the tricky thing with these rear wheel drive cars. They bite back when you've got all that power. Just did it. Thing I have ever seen. 
Wow. That's close. I my breath before the client gets here. I'll yeah, no surprise, only one star. Because oh. obviously you can get a hell of a lot quicker than one 220 out of this car. And obviously 215 was the bare minimum, so I imagine 225 for one, uh, two stars, maybe 235, 240 for three. If I had a bit more luck out of that uh, run up to the roundabout, Pro or out of the roundabout even, then would have got quicker, but oh well. I just didn't uh, imagine that going round the roundabout properly would have uh, made it any quicker, to be honest. It's just the fact that we got lucky coming out of it. Got unlucky even. In that oversteer moment. But well, that's a real-wheel drive, 1,000 plus a horsepower cars for you. So, I saw how much Finally got all-wheel drive, though. FXXK. A lot of people around the festival did, too. We've been getting calls. This is the 2011 Bugatti Veyron Supersport. Fastest production car in the world for three full years. Yours for... Don't worry, we've got time. I'll stall them if I have to. What is it, like 1.6 million for one of these originally? I want to see you... <coughs> I mean, the client wants to see you take it up into the Highlands. Technical bends and long power straights. Yeah, I think you're going to enjoy this. 400 yards. I have to stay Turn above 100 one. mile an hour. And Turn if we drop one. below it, we've only got 10 seconds to get back up to it. Which actually shouldn't be too much of a problem for this car, because it can get up to 100 mile an hour in no time at all. There you go, we got up to it in 4.8 seconds there. At the roundabout, take the second we'll go around this time, we're not at the best of luck going up over roundabouts. 400 yards, turn right. Hard right turn coming up. Don't let your speed drop. Gonna have to, mate. No way this car can make that right at 100 mile an hour. Long sequence of mountain curves now. Read your light. Yeah. In. Use your brakes. Keep it fast and tight. And hey, don't forget to have fun. Somehow managed to keep it above 100 mile an hour all the way there then. Oh, just made it. to bring the Veyron back. Hey, come on, bring it back. I'll have something just as good next time. I'm thinking Mercedes. Which Mercedes? Uh, but yeah, a little bit tricky to keep it above 100 mile an hour considering even though this is obviously the lighter, sportier version of the Veyron, it's still not the best handling vehicle out there. It still weighs far too much. And the all-wheel drive system can obviously induce understeer. But I imagine with practice you could get that down to a T fairly quickly. And obviously if I didn't have a few crashes we would have been quicker. But that's the curse of trying things first time round. You're never going to get them perfect. Or highly unlikely to do so. So what Mercedes got lined up? Is it the CLK GTR? Nope, it's the well, SL. The wants a real precision engineered Grand Touring AMG car. GTR. You can't go wrong with the Benz. 2017 AMG GTR. 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. Top speed just over 200 miles per hour. Ready to do your thing? Yes, because I actually quite like this car, actually. This thing was built across country in style. I'll set you a route. Turn right. 
Though, so if I'm honest, I do prefer the uh, standard GT. I, I to see this, this is no uh, bad car. This was built across a lot of country. Wow, that looks like something out of an advert. Beautiful. Actually, I just thought of something. I'll have a chat with the licensing guys. See if there isn't a bit of a business opportunity here. All right, leave you there. I'll get it handed off to the client. And be ready for the next call, because I've got something special coming in. Something you won't believe. Oh, I'm sure I'll believe it. And I uh, don't think advertising really likes having cars crashing through fences and stuff, but whatever he says goes, I guess. But yeah, I imagine you have to be below 1 minute 30 to get 3 stars on that. We'll have a look at the uh, objectives uh, once we finish these off. It is interesting to see just how fast you have to go to get a full 3 stars. But, got another oil spin. We'll go through them as well at the end as well. Just to see if we can get lucky for once. Right. Let's see what he's got lined up for us. Which apparently we won't believe. You know, when I started this business, when I recruited you, this moment right here is kind of what I was picturing in my head. That is a McLaren Senna. Don't ask me how I got it. Just take it down to the festival and let every person there know it has arrived. They saw it at the start of the game, mate, when I rocked up on it Open then. it up, bask in the glory. But if you put a single scratch on it... You what? <laughs> Not got very much time to cover eight miles. Not gonna scratch it, 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 not gonna really scratch it much. I phoned the head to Kira. She says the crowds are already out of the festival. Yeah, damn. <laughs> well I didn't scratch it much, to be honest. Considering just what I did then. I still think that's quicker than going around it though. It is a bit of a shame that you can't see this car fully in uh, Forza Vista mode. what you'd have been able to consider it as a cover car. This, this is why I love my job. If you can call this a job. <laughs> This is no traffic to deal with. Oh dear. Still doesn't mean I can't make mistakes though. Nah, we've got plenty 
of time, I think. And I have an inkling this is the last one as well. Most of the way, to be fair. We did it! You did it. I'll see you around the festival, but don't be a stranger down at the showroom in Edinburgh, yeah? Come in and say hello, or take one of the cars for another spin. Yeah, I will in my own time, though. But yeah, there we go. That's pretty much everything done this episode so we'll just check out the objectives for this uh, business thing and see just how fast he actually wants to go at times because yeah I imagine I was either quite close or either far away there's no chance that I was uh, somewhere in the middle but another wheel spin we'll also check these out if I've got any left yeah, 75 grand is a decent amount Certainly better than a hat or a pair of socks or whatever. Got an achievement there as well for finishing 40 different uh, story chapters, but uh, oh, see you Daisy. What did I tell you? You and me and the fastest cars in the world. We can't lose. I'll be in touch real soon, yeah? Yep. Right, uh, for the first one we had to get a time of 1 minute 21 seconds. We got 3 stars for the Coings Egg. We had to get 1 minute 35 for the Ferrari. Got 3 stars for the Zenvo. We had to get 198 for the Vul Vulcan, which I predicted. For the Pagani we had to do 1 minute 20. Hennessy Venom we had to do 250. Which is, yeah, easily manageable in that car, but obviously uh, we were quite far off that. Bugatti Veyron had to be one there in 1 minute 50. Mercedes 1 minute 30. McLaren Senna 3 minutes. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we were quite close with that McLaren to be honest. But there we go. They're the objectives. Obviously they uh, probably take a bit of practice get uh, going on them. But we've got 4 wheel spins to do. So we'll uh, just see if we get anything good out of these. And then we'll end it. So 10 grand. Better than glasses I guess. Or a shirt that I don't want. Yeah, Ford Bronco's a good car. And finally. Oh, nearly got 180 grand, but at least I like that Ford, so uh, not going to complain. Two Fords in a row there, though. But nonetheless, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, in the next couple of episodes, which will be the final two, I think, we'll uh, finish, uh, well, we'll start and finish that uh, history of British Racing Green, which is uh, another. Uh, 10 chapter story uh, missions but nonetheless thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye